about the first thing we notice in this setup is that you can see that the feet are pretty much on line with the board that he's hitting off of but we can't even see his lead shoulder at all so he's going to be uh, aiming his shoulder way way to the right of the target line um, I'll we'll start the club back a little bit until we get to the point where you can see the lead shoulder move into play right about here. Now he's square. Now, he's, now his shoulders are parallel to his feet. So if we can get him to do that on a more regular basis uh, at the startup, he's going to have a lot better chance of hitting his target. Then as he takes the club back, he's a little bit low there. We'd like to see the hands be at least as high as the back of the head. Uh, maybe in simpler terms, we'd like to see the lead lead forearm parallel to the shoulders. Um, he It's a little tight there, so it had a little trouble doing that. The other thing we're going to see is that little over-the-top move right there. Just a tiny move, but we want the transition to be a dropping of the hands that way, not out. And you can see what he's doing is he's leaning into the shot. Now, as he's coming to impact, you can easily see the shoulders are rotating considerably more than the lower body. Uh, at a, just after impact, we'd like to see both um, butt cheeks, uh, the back pockets of his shorts, um, facing back to the camera. And he doesn't get that till about here. Now he pulled off a good shot. The live board helps. Notice the ball's going straight. Uh, so he pulled off a good shot, but we're going to get him to engage a little bit more of the lower body so there's not so much uh, over-the-top tendency and a tendency to hit it fat, and that's why he's using the uh, lie board. 